Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at a new Breitling release. And in fact, this watch is still only available for pre-order on the Breitling website, but it is available on sale here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota at a price of uh, $5,450. So this is a watch you didn't really hear about that much. But before I get into the review, I wanna talk about, I wanna briefly mention a watch that I created. This is the Hoagland & Sons Mark I Chronograph. It's a mechanical quartz hybrid um, chronograph watch, which basically means that it has a mechanical chronograph module where you get the functionality of a mechanical, court, uh, mechanical chronograph movement. So you have that smooth seconds hand when you start the chronograph watch. Um, and then when you reset the chronograph, you have that nice mechanical flick back. But you get the advantages of a quartz movement because you have the quartz oscillator, which gives you extremely high accuracy. Now, uh, this watch also has a case back that features a time zone and unit conversion scales. I really wanted to make this as kind of uh, functional as possible. Um, and there's a new batch of this watch, which comes with an improved uh, improved dial because on uh, the subdial hands, I made them higher contrast with the subdials. Before it was a little bit difficult to see, but uh, through user feedback, I changed the design. So the watch is available at $149, which is very competitive for mechanical quartz movement. I would uh, recommend you check out the link in the description to purchase it and uh, possibly uh, make me an offer. So thank you for, uh, for kind of staying tuned for this little brief commercial, but now we'll move back to the subject of this video. And that is of course the Breitling Super Ocean um, Automatic 48. So the 48 millimeters obviously stands for the case size, and this is, according to Breitling, a big, bold, and bulky watch. And um, Breitling is no stranger to making uh, such large watches, but um, lately they've been going in more of, I would say, a kind of classy direction in terms of they're not as, I guess in their words, they're not really as bold as before. They're a little bit more subdued, even though the watch itself is very large at 48 millimeters. Um, the watch's design elements are fairly classic. And I'm excited that I'm able to share this with you today because again, this watch is still only available for pre-order on Breitling's website. And the watch itself, like, first of all, I didn't even know it existed until I came to Continental Diamond and noticed it. Um, but it is one of the most unique Breitling models because it has a, lot, a bezel lock. And I've never seen this on a Breitling model before. And it reminds me a lot of the Ploprop from Omega. And basically what you do is you pull, to use the lock, as you saw, you pull back the switch and then you can move the bezel and then lock it back into place. And this gives you added safety. It is bi-directional once you unlock the bezel, uh, which makes it a little bit easier to use than a unidirectional bezel, which um, obviously if you miss your mark, you have to spin it again, um, spin it around again, which can be inconvenient. I really like the blue version. There's also a green version of the watch, um, but I like the blue dial because it has this nice gradient, but it's not in like a sunray pattern and it makes it look a lot more high quality than um, sunray patterns in my opinion because it literally looks like you're looking into an underwater space just due to that gradient it's just very high resolution um and it looks extremely nice the case is a dlc coated titanium case um and then on the inside you have a soft iron core that gives you anti-magnetic resistance so it has a soft iron faraday cage and that's a fairly unique um feature for a watch and then on the outside you have this nice rubber strap you can order it with other strap options but frankly, if I were to buy the watch, I'd definitely get the rubber strap. I love Breitling's rubber straps. They're natural rubber, not artificial rubber. Um, and if you have any other Breitling model, I would recommend you purchase one. I had one for my Breitling uh, emergency. It was actually this exact strap. Um, and it's extremely comfortable. Um, and I, I really like it. And then one other unique feature of this watch is the fact that it has a uh, brushed ceramic bezel. So it looks it almost looks like the vulcanized rubber that they used to have on the Super Oceans, but obviously it's a lot more durable than that because it's ceramic. But usually, again, when you see ceramic bezels, they're polished ceramic, not brushed. And it makes the watch, again, a little bit subdued. I mean, you wouldn't really notice this watch. And it looks very, very utilitarian. So now moving on to a wrist shot. Overall, even though the watch itself is 48 millimeters, it's very, very comfortable because you have a domed a nicely domed case back so it really lifts off your wrist um but then the lugs still move right around your wrist so it's kind of it doesn't pop off that high above your wrist like it would say if you had like a nato strap on it or something 
but uh, that makes the watch look nice, but it's also very comfortable. Again, this is one of my favorite newly released Breitlings, and mostly just because you don't really, you didn't really hear about it at all. I think it's going to be an extremely popular model going forward, just because of how unique it is, um, and I really like it as a watch. So if you liked this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and also check out the link to the watch that I created in the description. Thanks for watching.